What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll show you a simple step-by-step -step method on how to draw Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants. For today's lesson, we'll need a sketch pad and something to draw with. I'm using this 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick, but you're welcome to use whatever you'd like. I'll leave a full list of all my art supplies with links in the description below. Let's get started by adding some guidelines to help with the balance and symmetry of our drawing. We'll start at the very top in the middle. Let's sketch a line coming down the center of our page. Just gonna use these short lines coming all the way down. Now, let's go up to the top and draw a straight line going across from left to right. Let's come all the way down towards the bottom and draw another line going across. Now, the distance between these two lines will determine the size of our drawing. Now, you want to roughly sketch out a triangle in between these two lines. Let's start at the very top in the middle. Just going to angle this down and out towards the left to right about there. Go back up to the top and do the same thing on the right. Now I want to make sure that the lines are roughly the same length across the bottom and the sides. Now I'm going to go back and just modify the shape of the triangle. From the bottom corner, let's round out the body. We're going to come down from the left, go across, and then up towards the right. And then from the ends, we're going to curve the body. We're going to go up. Now let's bend that up towards the top point. Go across and then down on the right side. Just gonna round out the bottom corners. Also wanna round out the top point. Now from here we start blocking out the basic shapes and the proportions of the body. Let's start halfway down the triangle over on the left side. Let's add a curve. We're gonna come down and then up towards the right. Now we're gonna step up and add another curve. This will be for the bottom edge of the shirt. Now we're going to come down and add one more curve for the bottom of the belt, coming down and then up. Now we want to rotate the body slightly over towards the left. So let's start from the top of our triangle. Just going to bend this line going out, come down, and just bend that in towards the bottom on the left. This will be the center seam of the body. Let's leave a gap in the center. Let's draw two lines, one on the left and then one on the right. Let's move out and draw another line, the same length line on either side. Now we're going to close off the bottom of the pant with a curve, coming down and then up on both sides. Now underneath the pant in the center, we're going to draw two angled lines coming down towards a point. Let's move back on the left side. Let's add in the sleeve. Starting from the top of the collar, draw a straight line going out, come straight down, and then pull that back in towards the body. Let's go to the center of the sleeve, draw a short line going out. Now we want to bend the arm going out and then up towards the wrist. Now from here we draw a large circle to capture the size of the hand. We're going to start on the side, going up the left side, coming all the way around, and then in. So you just want to get the right size of this claw. Let's line up the top of the arm over on the right side of the body. We're going to go out, come straight down. And I'm just going to bend this in and then back up towards the collar. From the center of the sleeve, draw a straight line going out towards the elbow. Angle is down and then in towards the hip. Let's draw another circle going all the way around the outside and then back in towards the wrist. Now along the top of our triangle, let's step down. It's gonna draw the base of the eyes with a straight line. And this will be a guide that goes across. And then from the right side of the center, it's gonna bend the eye. We're gonna go up and then out towards the top of the eye. Let's move over towards the left and do the same thing. We're gonna go up and out towards the same height. Let's sketch a small circle along the tip of each line. And then from the side of that circle, we're just going to taper the eyes. We're going to follow that line coming down and then in towards the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right. We're going to cross and then down towards that bottom line. Now underneath the left eye, we're going to wiggle the nose. Just going to add a curve going up towards the tip. Just a little wave going up. From the top of our triangle, let's step up and sketch two small ovals. 
for the pupils. Now from this line, we're gonna step down, curve the mouth, we're gonna go across, bend that up towards the right. So a small bracket, come down and across towards the left side. From the ends, we're gonna step in, curve the back side of the mouth, come down, draw the bottom edge of the teeth, going up towards the corner of the mouth. Now that we have a rough sketch, we're gonna go back and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Just gonna clean this up so we can get a better look at our proportions. Now we're gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to add some more detail and refine the shape. Now I wanna start with the right eye. Starting from the base, we're just gonna add that socket. I'm just gonna add a curve across the bottom and then just trace the eye along the outside. Again, just modifying the shape where needed, going up towards the top. And then from here, I'm just gonna trace out the nose because this overlaps the head. I'm just gonna bring this in and we'll just trace out the bottom of the nose. Go a little bit wider as we come down towards the head. Now let's layer the head in behind the eye and the nose. Bring that down toward the collar. And I'm just gonna add a few bumps over on the right side. So we go up and bring that down. Bring that down towards the sleeve. And then I'm gonna go back and just trace out the left eye. Let's add those details across the top of the eyes. Let's add a little bit more shape to the pupils. Also adding a small highlight along the top with a small circle. And then just darken up the bottom of the eyes going around that highlight. Now it's going to place that tongue across the bottom, starting with that fold. Now we're going to add in that collar. Starting along that center seam, we'll start with that V, and then bend that out towards the side. And then on the right side, we're just going to tuck this in behind the arm. Let's add in the collar. Now along the sleeve, we're going to start with the socket first, so adding that curve first and tracing the arm along the outside. Let's bring that down towards the wrist. Now with the arm in place, we're gonna go back to the sleeve. Start with the back side, going in behind. I'm just gonna curve this back in towards the body along the top. And then round up the inside, coming down towards the bottom of the sleeve. Now we're gonna move over and draw in the left arm, starting with that sleeve. And we're just gonna bend the outside, going up towards the claw. And just draw that sleeve in behind. Now just working our way around the claw, starting with the outside, going up towards the top, about halfway. And working our way across the inside.
Now we're going to go back to that center seam and add in the buckle. So leaving a gap along the top. Just want to round out the corners. Come straight down. Round out the bottom. And then come across the middle. And we'll trace the buckle along the inside. Just draw the top of the belt going up towards the side of the body. And the same across the bottom. I just want to bulge out the top of the pant. So going around and then in towards the belt. Then over on the right side, we're going to add the belt loop. Add that curve. And continue out towards the side. shape to those legs. Just rounding out the bottom tip. Now we're going to go back and just clean up our drawing one final time. Now I'm just going to move in with the flat edge of my pencil and start adding some various tones. Now as we get closer to the end, I'm just going to tighten up my shadows and add a little bit more detail and always be sure to sign my artwork and that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Mr. Krabs from Spongebob Squarepants. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want more details on the art supplies I've used, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.